So a very interesting question posed in this week's uh, Parsha Tetriya. And that is, it's based on a conversation between Turnus Rufus, the Roman general who ended up sacking the Bet Amikdash and probably killing Rabbi Akiva. But interestingly enough, at this stage, he is actually having a conversation with Rabbi Akiva, and there are many such conversations recorded in the Talmud and the Medrash. And he asked Rabbi Akiva a question. He said, Ezo maisim noim. Which creations are more pleasant, more beautiful, those from God or those made from man? Now, we may first, at first blush, think, what kind of a question is this? The world is so beautiful. There are beautiful marine life and there's beautiful landscapes and beautiful animals and beautiful people and, and God is a wonderful artist and it's a gorgeous world that we have. What kind of a question is that? On the other hand, I guess you could say, you could go into museums and say, wow, there's a lot of beauty uh, there. And there's a lot of beauty in architecture and other things that man creates. So Rekiva answered without hesitation that the creations of man are more pleasant and beautiful than the creations of God. And of course, Turnus Rufus objected immediately and said, how could you say such a thing? And Rabbi Akiva gave him a simple example. Take a sheaf of wheat. What can you do with a sheaf of wheat as it was created by God? You can't eat it. But man takes that sheaf of wheat and turns it into the staple of life, into a loaf of bread. So therefore, the creations of man are more naim, more beautiful and pleasant than the creations of God. Now I have to tell you that there's a backstory here. As you may know, the Greeks and the Romans were thought that the human body was beautiful and they were against circumcision. And Rabbi Kiva already anticipated that this is where Turnus Rufus is going with this conversation. It's also interesting to think about how much perfection man can bring upon themselves in their life just by working on their, you know, working on their midot and becoming a more spiritual person. And in fact, that is the relationship ultimately to Pasha Tazria, because Pasha Tazria is talking about uh, a leprosy kind of disease. It's not leprosy. It's actually a spiritual disease that people would get if they engaged in Lashon Hara, if they engaged in gossip and slander and malicious talk. And there was an early warning system that would show up and people would be afflicted with this and they would have to repent, they'd have to do tshuva in order to get rid of this. So it was a form of perfection. Again, it fits right into our theme because it was a way for man to perfect themselves. God actually helped us by pointing this out that this is what's going on and this is what you need to do. We, of course, don't have that today. And, and another interesting question is, are we better off without it? We are not embarrassed, like they may have been embarrassed in those days when they were afflicted with this. On the other hand, we don't have that early warning system. We don't know that we've descended into this terrible practice of slandering other people. And so we can go through life like that without ever knowing. So, I wish you all a great Shabbos.